here. Oh, there we go. Yes. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? I'm Doug. This is the Doug Man's Land channel where we do all sorts of fun word games uh, from Wordle to Quartle to Octortle to uh, a one. Uh, we're going to try Hurdle tonight as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. Um, I imagine some of you folks may have seen the uh, little video, a short I posted yesterday. Uh, right now, as we speak, uh, I am in a remote location on vacation um, in the southern, southeastern United States. Uh, I'll give you a little clue. It's Mickey Mouse Land, uh, hanging out, enjoying the week. Uh, I do apologize if there's a little bit of echo on my uh, microphone. Uh, we have kind of like a remote studio set up here tonight uh, at a lovely uh, resort. Um, so uh, we'll do our best. I think we've got a pretty decent setup here uh, for what we've got. Um, thank you again for coming out. Distant Sounds. Hope you're having a great weekend. So uh, week so far. I do like your idea because we're day late. We should start with later. I think we'll actually start our hurdle with that. Um, uh, Alan, how you doing? Uh, Kaleidoscope, how you doing? Um, I know my moderator, Cassandra Hammerstone, will be around as well, saying hello, checking things out. Um, so let's uh, get right to it, as they say. Uh, tonight, I figured we'd do uh, this game Hurdle. Now, I made a Hurdle video um, about a week or two ago. I uh, just wanted to check it out, and I thought this was a fascinating game. Uh, and uh, I think a bunch of people liked it as well. Um, so we may or may not do some more regular uh, hurdle videos. I have to figure out if it's going to be uh, something that we can do and record episodes uh, in a way that will make sense. But if we can, we are thinking of uh, adding this to the repertoire, as it were. Uh, of course, I would love to hear what you guys uh, have to say about that. But nonetheless, we'll try some hurdle tonight. Um, for those who haven't played Hurdle before, it's a new word game, um, like, uh, you know, Wordle-esque in nature. 400-meter uh, hurdles at the Doug Olympics? Well, I don't know that I'm going to be doing the 400-meter hurdles. Uh, maybe if you take the, z the two zeros out, we're probably about the hurdles I'm going to do. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Um, so here's how Hurdle works. Uh, you have a series of five puzzles that you have to do. You can pick the opener of your choice for the first puzzle. In this case, uh, I like distant sound suggestion. We'll try later. So you play the puzzle. If you solve it, the second puzzle or hurdle, you have to open with the solve to the previous puzzle and so on and so forth. If you make it to the fifth puzzle, uh, the solves for the first four puzzles are auto-filled. They are automatically the first four guesses. And you only get two guesses to solve the puzzle. So it's kind of like a gauntlet type situation. Uh, and like I said, I did the video of it uh, a few weeks ago and I think uh, generally uh, people enjoyed it. So let's try playing a little hurdle tonight. Um, unfortunately, they do not seem to have a practice mode. So you can only really do one hurdle a day. Uh, so I will be going in playing today's hurdle, uh, having no idea what the words are. So let's give it a go. So let's get started here uh, later. We'll get started here. Later, it gives me a goose egg, unfortunately. All right, no worries. So we'll move along and see what we can figure out here. Um, oh, and by the way, just uh, I want to mention this at the start of all these streams. Uh, this is meant to be a fun communal experience. Uh, uh, shouting out suggestions, guesses, what you think uh, I should do next is uh, not only okay, but encouraged. So we're going to have fun uh, as a group together doing these. So feel free to uh, jump in the chat and uh, contribute. Make your guesses, make your suggestions. I'm going to be looking throughout the show for folks to recommend opening words for the games that we play. So you are more than welcome to do that as well. So let's have some fun. Uh, okay, so having said that, Let's see what we can do next. Uh, what, what the big letters that we don't have? Uh, we could do sound. Let's try sound. Sound? Okay, well, sound gets us an N in position. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, I saw a scion yesterday. Ooh, you know, we drove uh, a considerable distance to get here. I don't remember if we... I'm sure we saw a few scions. Uh, we drove quite a ways across two days. Um, 
but I haven't seen any scions in the last day or two in this area. Uh, sound. Okay, so we have an N in position. Uh, we've looked at A-E-O-U, so obviously we want something with an I to give us some intel there, preferably in maybe the first three positions. Uh, so let's see, what would be good for that? I-N-G uh, looks like it could be good. How about, uh, let's see. Uh, how about, well, maybe we could do... We could do, uh, I just want to want to find something with an I in it here uh, that might be to get as many things as I can. What about chimp? C-H-I-M-P is an evaluation word. Obviously, we're going to disregard the N for the moment. Let's try that. Okay, so we knew the I was there. We know now that it's not in the third spot. I strongly have, I would strongly suspect that it's going to be in the second spot. That's kind of my spider senses. So that means we've got something like that. I got to think is probably what we're working with here. Um, and if we look at it from that perspective, uh, let's see, what would make sense for the third letter? So something like perhaps, uh, that's the part that makes this a little bit weird. Um, hmm. Tiger, all right, Tiger's here, fresh off uh, competing in the Masters. Hope you're having a great week so far, Tiger. Um, let's see, uh, now something like signs, you know, we've evaluated the S, so that's the part that is, uh, uh, makes that probably definitely not going to be in a uh, possibility. So now I'm wondering if the, could the I be in the first spot, although that just seems a little bit more strange to me now what about a double n i n n i n n y so like uh uh something like i n n y um hmm but there's nothing that would fit for that like tinny we evaluated t uh we've evaluated what would what would you would need for that so i don't know if i can do that um, why in it maybe yeah see I'm starting to wonder about that uh, but if the I is not in the second spot and I'm having I'm having trouble figuring out where it would make sense I can't see it being in the I can't see it being the end I suppose it could be the first letter uh, I mean maybe we have to do another evaluation here um preferably with the Y uh, so let's see we could do uh, we could do our fate. Well, fudgy won't help me because I really want something to get more, more information on that eye. So let me think here for a second. Um, although I have to tell you, mm, if I did do fudgy, I'd get F, G, and Y, and I feel like that would be super useful to have. Uh, I and G, I and K, yeah. Um, well, we know the I is not in the third spot. So I and G and I and K, unfortunately, aren't going to work. Yeah, N, K, N, G. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, row 8, the answer is always row 8. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, we'll have two guesses left after this. And I feel like, see, you now Fudgy is interesting to me because, again, F, G uh, are two of the more likely consonants to be in play and i really think there's probably a y in here as well so i find myself while a bit on the risky side my spider senses are telling me to give this a shot i might regret this but uh canoe <laughs> all right what are we going to do here if we get okay so there we go we did get the y so that's actually pretty critical right um so now, so now we know it's NY at the end. So we know the I has to be the first or the second spot. Okay. So what would make sense if it was in the first spot? And again, I suppose it's possible that there's uh, a double N, um, but I don't think that makes any sense. Uh, there's nothing I, X, N, N, Y that makes sense. 
Uh, I think that this is a lot more reasonable to say that the I is in the second spot here. Um, like that. Uh, again, I-N-N-Y, there's nothing that makes sense for that. Winnie is not going to be a valid word, is it? Um, that would only leave me one guess. Hmm, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, it won't tell you. It, see, it won't tell you before you make the guess if it is a valid word or not, which is kind of like, eh. Some of these games will tell you before you commit to the guess if it's going to be a valid dictionary word. Um, although I suppose if it was a valid word, it would tell me if we're dealing with I-N-N-Y or something else. Uh, but again, if that's wrong, I only get one guess left. Um, hmm. I mean, I suppose I could give this a go. If it's not a valid word, I still have two guesses left. Okay, not found. All right, fine. That's fine. Um, hmm. This is a, this is a, a bit of a brain teaser here. Um, it's a girl's name. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not a, it's not a, it's a, it's a proper noun. It's a name. Uh, and I don't think that any of these other letters would make words. Binny is not a word. I mean, Vinny is, again, a name, not an actual um, valid word. Yeah. Um, so I think, I feel like we can kind of rule out, we can rule out I-N-N-Y. So then that makes me say, uh, so X, I, X, and Y. So what is the third letter? Focusing almost entirely on that for the moment. Um, I-B-N-Y, no, I-K-N-Y, I-V-N-Y, uh, I-X-N-Y, no, I-Z-N-Y, I-W-N-Y. What am I missing here? What on earth am I... My goodness gracious, this is a, this is a real mind bender. I can't imagine what on earth... What on earth am I? Hmm. There's not a lot of consonants to work with. Um. All right. So, what about the I? In the first spot, and then you've got X, X, and Y. Again, we evaluated R and O, so it's not irony. Um. Hmm. My goodness gracious. This is crazy. I, I don't feel like I'm missing something obvious here. Um, <laughs> what do we do here? Uh, yeah, this is crazy. Um, hmm. This is nuts. Um, and I can tell the audience is also stumped. I'm. We usually have a lot of really strong guesses and thoughts and ideas. Uh, the silence tells the story here. I can't remember the last time I've been this stumped at something. Um, it's not I N N Y. It couldn't. It couldn't be a double. Um, y and Y doesn't really make any sense. Um. What the heck is going on here? Uh, N something? N-I something N-Y? Let me just see here. N-I X-N-Y? Oh, wait a minute. Ninny! <laughs> wow! That may be the... <laughs> well, that's that's something now, isn't it? Oof, well, what did we take? Uh, we took uh, 16 minutes. <laughs> well, let's, let's move forward, folks. It's time to venture forward to the next hurdle. We'll start off with Ninny. <laughs> yes, Kaleidoscope has line of the night. 
what the entire audience, us, Cassandra Amberson, we are all ninnies. But let's 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 get let's get forward here. Uh, ninny, uh, Tiger, good point. Store that sounds good. We'll go ahead and try that. Oh, hold on, let me get the cursor where it belongs there. Store gets me an E incorrect position at the end, so that's cool. Uh, I feel like I might want to look at the A and the U. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Uh, we could try, no, we looked at R. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I know, we're all kind of like spent. We all need a nap right now. I think that's what we all need. Um, okay, well, let, let's move along. Uh, what, what do we got here? Place, uh, P L A C. Yeah, place. Actually, Tiger, I like place. Okay, well, well, I did like that Tiger. That was actually a, a strong idea. Um, now I think we do need to look at the U. Um, what can I do here? We could do. We could do. Uh, we could do fudge. We could do fudge actually. I'm I'm seeing plate. Yeah, I, I feel like fudge makes sense. We're gonna get. F U D G looked at. Oh, Fudge got us there. Fudge got us there. Okay, so let's move to the next uh, hurdle. Uh, an E somewhere not in fifth position with Fudge. Um, <laughs> my attention is divided. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, okay, Fudge got us to uh, the next hurdle. Let's see what we've got here. Um, Early E A R L Y. You know what? I do like that tiger. Let's go and try early. Okay, no, but we do have the E nailed down to second, third, or fourth spot. Uh, I think I want to do something with at least an I and an O. Uh, so here, uh, now do plate. I'll tell you what, um, we've looked at the L and the A, but I think that what would make a lot of sense here is the word point, because that gets us five unique letters. Oh, okay, well, we've ruled out, uh, we've got a lot of the common letters uh, off the board. We have a P somewhere, and we have an E somewhere. Uh, I've got requests for pleat, but we've looked at L, A, and T. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? How about uh, an S could be in there too. Um, hmm. Cheap. C H E E P. C H E E P. Uh, cheap. Cheap. Sheep. Yeah, cheap is actually going to be better than cheap because I really like getting the S looked at. Uh, I actually like sheep a lot. Let's try that. Oh, look at that. Look at that tiger coming in clutch. Um, I think suffice it to say uh, that sweep is pretty much got to be it here, right? Yep. All right. Tiger with that clutch sheep there. Clutching sheep, perhaps. <laughs> which brings us to the fourth hurdle, uh, which gets us a lot to start with. An E in position. There's a double E in this word uh, and a W in here. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, hmm. What do we have here? Uh, let's see. What makes sense? Uh, we could have... Uh, yeah, you do know animals being named after one. Two W's? Two E's? Two W's, two E's. Hmm. Two W's, two E's. Um. N's and double E. That could be a thing. Fewer. Oh, wow. Tiger's been on fire here. Fewer kind of makes sense to me. Fewer makes sense to me. I think we're going to give that a go. No, okay, so it wasn't fewer, but we got the EWE all in position here. All in position here. 
Okay. Tiger is on fire tonight. No, no kidding. Absolutely on fire. Um, let's see. What makes sense here? Um, yeah, yeah, fewer was definitely a solid play here. Um, what makes sense for that fifth letter? Oh, I would like to, yeah, I, I was just about to say Jewel, uh, and Tiger said it as well. I feel 100, yep, it's got to be Jewel. There we go. All right, so the final hurdle uh, gives us only two guesses to work with. We know it ends in a Y. We know that there's a D and an I involved. Uh, we don't know about the A and the O, but I feel like we're going to have to be very strategic here. Um, my goodness, yeah, Tiger is absolutely on fire tonight. Absolutely. Um, ah, let's see. What do we have to try here? Um, I think the first thing I wonder to myself is where do we think that the I is... If I had to guess, I'd have to guess that it's probably in the middle. Dirty? Yeah, so dirty won't work because we know the eye's not in the second spot. Uh, acidy? Hmm, acidy. Um, you know, what's interesting about acidy, I don't think that that's it, but it gives us a... It, it narrows down the I and the D quite a bit. Um, dairy? Oh, I gotta tell you, distant dairy sounds really compelling to me. Again, it's gonna really nail down the eye because if it's not in the third, I don't know where it is, and that gives us a lot of. Yeah, you know what? Thinking this out loud, I really like distant suggestion about dairy. Yeah, and we're starting to coalesce around that as a group. I think it's got. I you know I actually I think it's dairy. There it is. It's dairy. All right, distant, big time, big time, great, great job. Tiger also uh, probably gets the MVP on this one, no doubt. Um, wow, that was cool. That was super cool. Um, well, I think that was fun. And unfortunately, like I said, I believe we are only able to play one a day. Um, unfortunately, I don't know that we get to play... Uh, we can play with the system clock on this, at least not during a live stream. Uh, so that will be our hurdle uh, portion of our stream. Um, but we can move along here. Let me just kind of do a little adjustment here. Uh, let's just fix that. Hold on. There we go. So uh, moving along, we can also do some wordles tonight. Uh, we can do some, uh, uh, some different length word games. Uh, and we can do some quartal and octortal tonight. I have that all queued up. Oh my goodness, my um, I'm zoomed in, uh, hyper hyper zoomed in here. <laughs> I didn't realize how ooh, zoomed in I was. Apologies for that. Um, <laughs> the extreme close up, but again, we're in a uh, we're in a kind of like a, a hotel resort. So forgive me. Oh, there we go. Thank you, producer Cassandra Hammerstone on the on the job there, making a little uh, on the fly adjustment. Um, so I'm looking for some opening words. Uh, Tyrese is suggested, well, I can't, I'm, I'm, um, I'm old. I got to look closely to see what that suggestion is. Let me see here. Uh, P O E L T L. So we're doing a five, I want to do a five letter one, maybe like a hard word challenge type thing. I'll hold on to that suggestion Tyrese for a six letter one. Um, Oh, is, it, is that a game? I'm sorry. I'm not sure if that was a suggestion. P-O-E-L-T-L. -L. Is that a game? po Poeltal? And if so, what is that? <laughs> what is someone? Can someone tell me, give me a, a basic idea of what uh, that is? Uh, and also, if anyone would like to give me like a, a live hard word challenge type thing. Uh, oh, V-O-Z-H-T. I, I like that one. You know what? Let's give that a go. Let's have some fun with that. Um... P-O-E-L-T-L is Wordle, but basketball themed. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Uh, NBA Wordle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how good I'm going to be about that, but uh, we could try that if you guys really wanted to. P O E T L T L. Um, oh, yeah. See that? I. <laughs> That's what I love about the uh, YouTube having like a 20 second delay. We do have some suggestions here. We'll play a couple of these. Absolutely. I see Tenet. I see Fjord. Um, named after PO LTL, an NBA player. Got it. Okay. I understand. I understand. Um, all right. So I'm going to do a hardware challenge with VOZHD. We'll try Tenet. We'll try Fjord, F G O R D. And then we'll try some six letter. Uh, but starting with VOZHD, we have an H out of position uh so how about let's see how about um uh let's try harry h-a-i-r-y okay so that gives me an h the h is somewhere uh there's an a involved as well um when i look at this i wonder to myself how about shale oh okay well now it got me uh something h-a-s-e which almost certainly would be Chase. There it is. It's Chase. Cool. There we go. That's a kind of a quick one. Uh, let's do. We'll do two more for the other two suggestions I saw. Tenet. Oh, we just be a double E with an E in the uh, fourth spot. So that almost feels like it's definitely a double E together. Uh, so, like, what about something like Speed? Mm, okay. Okay. So, how about Sleep? Sheep. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. Oh, I was getting a little nervous there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, all right, let's do one more five letter to kind of get us warmed up. Uh, I had... I had fewer suggested. Not a valid word. It could... Be, I think you might have been thinking of... Fjord spelled that way. And we'll go for it just for the heck of it. Yeah, that was like almost a speed run that last word. <laughs> um how about shale? I got me an S in position. Alright, just for giggles. What about sleep? Ooh. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of like a speed run. Sleet. Sleek. There we go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so there we go sleek let's do this um how about let's try uh, a six letter i know we've, we've typically had some fun on these streams playing around with the six and the seven letter ones um so who's got who's got a six letter starting word for me in chat tyrese you are smart Everyone here is pretty smart, I gotta tell you. Apples. Tyrese has apples. Tiger has silent. So we will do uh apples and we will do silent to get us going. Raised. I see apples, silent, raised. So all right, let's hold the suggestions for a second. Uh we will do we will do apple silent and uh raised. Okay. Distant. I play Wordle in about 10 15 minutes, so every game we play here is a speed run. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Apples gets us an E in the fifth spot. And then I get like train my mind to think in terms of six letters. Uh, sometimes I get my brain gets a little bit uh, mushy here. Um, raised is a good one. Uh, we Yeah, look at that. We have. Uh, <laughs> I like that we have uh, world fit, world class athletes. Love to play the word games here on this channel. I do feel like I'm moving on up a bit there. Um, okay, what are we gonna do here with apples? With a word with a e in the fifth position, I feel like maybe ed. Uh, excite. The only problem with that is we're looking for something with an e in the fifth spot, and I feel like maybe it might end in ed. Um, so how about? Silent apples that have been raised. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we could do... I'm sorry, what was that? Mm. 
something. Oh no, I was gonna say shared, but we looked at S and A, so it's not that. Uh, what about? Let's see. Raised. So the problem with that is we've looked at the A and the S. We've looked at the A and the S, so I don't know that we're going to get too much value just looking at the R and the D on that one. And the R, I'm sorry, R, I, and D. And now, it might not end in E, D. I'm just, maybe I'm limiting myself here. Uh, it could end in E, R. Um, so it could be something like, uh, we could, you know what? Uh, uh, well, I was going to say linger, but we've looked at the L. Bitter. Bitter is definitely an interesting one. You know, Tyrese, let's try bitter. Ah, good, good job, good job. We know it's E R. Uh, we know the I is in the second spot, and there's going to be a T, which is probably, if I had to guess, probably going to be in the fourth spot. So it puts us at X I X T E R. That's what I suspect is probably going on here. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking winter. Whoops, uh, actually, hold on. No, but that gave us an N, and it gave us a T definitely in the first spot. Yes, uh, David, David and I had it just at the same time, winter. Um, just as I was typing it in, yeah. Um, so obviously with the T-I-N, I suspect that it is going to be, in fact, Tinker. There it is. It's Tinker. So win bitter and winter. Bitter winter, which I think is a, like a lot of people tend to uh, relocate in those bitter winters. <laughs> and that got us to Tinker. Um, let's see here. Uh, we had silent, we had apples, and we have raised. Uh, or wait a minute, did we start with raised or did we start with silent? Let me go back and scroll a bit here. We have silent, uh, apples, silent, and raised. Okay, so I think that we. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember if we. <laughs> now I'm trying to remember which. Uh... Apple, silent, and raised. Did we do silent or raised yet? Which one are we? Which one are we uh, on next? We started with. We did apples. We did apples, but we haven't done silent or raised, right? I think that's true. Okay, let's try again. Thank you. I got a little, a little discombobulated there. So we have silent. <laughs> Someone wants to start with Tinder. <laughs> well, I think it was a guess. Was Tinder? Uh, but let's try. See, it could have been. Uh, all right, so silent has a T at the end with an L and an E hanging out there as well. Uh, let's see what we got here. 13 letter. <laughs> I mean, we could. I don't know how far it goes. We'll find out after this one. Um, let's see. What would make sense here? Um, hmm. Drake with... Loves the letter F and loves T's. Okay, Drake. Drake is brought to you by the letter F and the letter T. Drake. He likes F's. He likes T's. <laughs> um, okay, Drake. We appreciate your affinity for F's and T's. Um, I'm wondering if perhaps Drake has a cat that may have inadvertently walked on Drake's keyboard. In which case, I feel bad for Drake. It would ask that you please remove the animal from your keyboard while we do this puzzle. Um, anyhow, let's get back to this. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do with this? Elicit? Ooh, elicit sounds interesting. Now, we did have the I looked at. However, I kind of like the idea of getting some intel on the E and the L. I wish we could do something without an I. You do have a cat, Drake. Well, okay. Well, thank you for removing the feline from your keyboard. Is much appreciated. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, Tiger's been thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Drake. I appreciate the kind words. Um, 
<laughs> omelet. Oh, tiger. That's actually a good one. Omelet. Let's let's give omelet a go. Nope. Okay, but we did figure out that there's also an O hanging out there. Uh, two. Uh, hmm. Omelet is good, and it gave us a little more insight. There's an O kicking around here as well. Um. Hmm. I wonder if the uh, okay. Uh, is that Clement? C L E M. No, we looked at the M. E has to be first. Uh, could be. Could be. I think it's either the E or the L. Um. I don't know that that's a word. So that's a, what you gave me there, Drake, is a seven letter word. Um, I, I think it's either E or L in the beginning. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Element. Yeah, I, I do. Well, that's unfortunate. Element's a seven letter word. We're looking for a six. Um, and like illicit would have an I in it, so that wouldn't work out. Lemons. Uh well, that we've looked at the M and the N so in the S, so we can't do lemons. That won't really get us any forward motion here on this. Uh let's see. Hmm. I almost feel like I just want to go off the board here for one guess and evaluate more letters. I think that might actually get us a little bit more momentum if we can get one more letter figured out. Um, volute. V-O-L-U-T-E. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Tyrese, look at that. You've got We've got five of the letters here. And we have the T at the end. So that's actually very interesting. Uh, thank you, Tyrese. Uh, hmm. So, okay, so let's just do a quick evaluation here. So, V O L uh, E X T. I'm sorry, uh, sorry, T. Um, it's not violet because we looked at the eye, right? Uh, the cat's back. Oh, got to get that cat off the keyboard, Drake. I, I certainly don't want to mute you because I enjoy your company, but we got we got to keep the cat off there. Just one more, please, please don't let that happen again, okay? <laughs> please don't let that happen again. I don't, I really don't want, I don't want to have to turn anyone off here. Uh, revolt. Uh, yeah, we haven't. You know what? We have not looked at the R. I feel actually really good about that. But let me back up. Revolt. There it is. Revolt. Uh, there you go. Distant with the, distant with the answer there. Yeah, Volute, Tyrese, that was really good. That got us, uh, to make it just basically a word jumble. Uh, and thank you, Distant, got it, brought it home with the revolt, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, let's see. What was the last one that we were going to do? The six letter we had, let me scroll back up here a bit. We had... Uh, si uh, silent apples raised. Raised we're going to do next. Yeah, that's fine. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's take a look here. We'll do one more six. And then maybe we'll uh, up the ante and try some seven letter. Uh, raised and gets us uh, R, A, and E out of position. Uh, I was going to say arrest, but we've looked at S. So it's not going to be that. Uh, we could look at... Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Mission for seven letter tiger. Yep. We're going to do seven next. So that I will hold on to that. I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. How about, uh, B A R. What can we do? I got to get my mind out of R in the front because it's not an R in the front. Um, how about, uh, let's see, how about garage? Tracer? 
I mean, Tracer has actually a better idea maybe for right now because I get the T and the C looked at. Ah, and it gets us the A in position. So my garage theory uh, is incorrect. I'll tell you what I really like is the R in the fourth position. Um, I almost feel like I like I like X E A R something something. Um, I would say dearly, but we looked at the D, right? Um, but it feels this this feels like an idea to me. Um, hmm. I would say hearth, but we looked at the T. Uh, let's see. Watch it later. How about mission? Yeah, we are going to do mission next. Uh, dearly, yearly. Oh, yearly. Yearly makes sense because we haven't done those. Okay. Ooh, very close. Okay. Uh, so could it be pearly? Ooh. Okay, <laughs> so let's be careful here. Let's take a little step back. Uh, what what do we do here if it's not? Uh, which one of these am I missing? It's not yearly or pearly. Fearly? Um, I'm sorry. Nearly. Oh, nearly. Yeah, Jack. Jack. Uh. Uh, first on the call with nearly. That is it, Jack Bailey. Uh, Evie plays Wordle. We all kind of yeah, shouting it right at the right at the uh, the end there. There it is. <laughs> Joe Bettel also apparently has a uh, cat. So what's going? I find that uh, interesting. Uh, we have Joe Bettel who also has a cat. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with all the cats today. Very interesting. <laughs> we we do have a moderator, Cassandra Hammerstone, who doesn't want to have to hit the delete button. But it uh, looks like we'll just uh, we'll just uh, discard those uh, little uh, issues with the cats, and we'll move along to a seven-letter puzzle for some fun mission. Oh, mission gets us nothing. Yikes. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, suspicious how the cat is always on F. Yeah, it's an interesting, because F's in the middle of the keyboard. I'm looking at my keyboard. So it's a cat with a very small paw. Or maybe it's a cat that went off to fight in the war and lost a leg, and it's like a little peg leg. A little peg leg cat. that just like tap, tap, tap. So I feel bad for moderating, because a cat that might have went off to fight in the war and has a little peg leg and just kind of did that, and, and, and just maybe has like a restless peg leg syndrome and just kind of taps. I wouldn't I feel bad, but I mean at the same time we got to keep the chat open for communication and guessing here. So it's important for us to be able to keep it clear. Um, so <laughs> we'll just ask again. Let's please be careful with the cats with peg legs. Uh, factory uh, and factual. These are all good. Uh, I feel like factory is almost one that I'd want to use as an opener, but I know we do have to get a. We have to get a second guess as well, so maybe we'll try factory here. Okay, so factory gets us an A and Y in position with an R hanging out somewhere else. We like that. Okay. Uh, so uh, good call, this it. I like that. Uh, let's see what we can do from pivot from factory here. Uh, let's see. What can we do next? Hmm. Someone's going to quit my little monologue about the peg leg can. I just know that's going to show up somewhere, um, which is fine. <laughs> Feel free. I think like some way somewhere is like creating like a compilation of this channel, and that will probably be featured in it. I suspect that's probably inevitable. Um, let's see. Uh, goodness gracious. We got the A and the R. Um, we have not evaluated a U. I almost feel like I want to look at the U in here as well. Uh, hmm. Factories for the next game? We could try factory for the next game as well. I'm happy to do that. We're happy, happy to do another one with um, that as an opener. Um, let's see. Uh, what can we do here? 
of course, I'm like wondering if the R could be in the front. Uh, it's maybe a little bit of a lazy way to think about this, but um, hmm. Uh, D A R A uh, H A U uh, uh, humor me for a moment. Uh, you know, that doesn't factor the R in. That won't really be too terribly helpful. Um, hmm. That won't be super helpful. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Uh, perhaps I just need to just go ahead and, and figure out a good uh, evaluation word uh, that's seven letters. All right, maybe that's the play here. Uh, let's see, what can we do to get as many letters looked at as I can? Seven letter word. Uh, we have D-E-W. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, plum, no, that's eight letters. Plumbing is eight. Uh, variety. Ooh. Um, well, we have the uh, the I and the T looked at, so that really only gets me the V and the E. Um and some more intel on R. Uh, I mean, I'm willing to give it a go. I mean, we will get some intel if we do that. Oh, look at that! The I was, you know what? We had this thing our at our last show, our last episode. I remember this. I I doubted Tiger, and that was the dumbest thing I've ever done because Tiger is like got such a good batting average that you know what? I have to keep reminding myself: do not. Do not discount Tiger's guesses. Uh, this was good. It got the four of the seven letters in position here. Uh, so I apologize, Tiger, for for ever doubting that that was a good idea. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, what can we do here? Um, hmm. Oh, my goodness. What makes sense for the first letter? That's where my mind goes next. Um, hmm. Lars, oh, uh, I was gonna say larceny, but we've looked at the C and the N. That like jumped out at me, but that's not it. Uh, I wonder if what would make sense. See, if I'm trying to visualize what would make sense for the either the first or the sixth letter is where my mind goes on this. Uh, yeah, they do, don't they? The seven letter ones get they, they get tricky because it's tough to visualize ideas. Um always trust a man who can hit tiny balls with long sticks. Uh truer words have never been spoken, Kaleidoscope. That is a true statement of true statements right there. No question about it. Um what makes sense? Uh, largely. Wow, uh David, largely. I am in love with this guess. There it is, largely. Good call. Good call on that one. Yeah, David Furby Bear, Furby Fubar. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Again, my uh, I think I'm ready for a new prescription soon. Uh, Furby Fubar and David uh, coming right in there with the largely. That is absolutely it. No question. We'll do one more seven letter because I do like the idea of opening with factory. Um, and then we will, with that point, we'll do our first poll, whether or not we want to try one eight letter or we want to move on to quartal. But let's do one more seven letter factory. Uh, and that puzzle gets us a T in fourth position with an O and an A also hanging out there. Um, all right, let me jump in. How about quoting? Boating, okay, so we get a G uh, for our troubles. Uh, we know where the O is, and we know that the A is, mm, I don't know, maybe in the fifth spot? Maybe in the fifth spot? Um, hmm. So, wondering about that G. Um, hmm. Wonder about that G. Wonder about that G. Oh, by the way, while I'm thinking about that, um, shout out in the chat. 
Ev plays Wordle, who also uh, does Wordle content on YouTube. Uh, please check out Evie Plays Wordle. Um, good stuff. I appreciate watching your stuff. I like all the. I, I honestly, I like to support everyone that plays Wordle uh, and the word games on YouTube. Uh, I think it's a great community. I love the fact that I have some fellow content creators that do uh, these same games that come into chat and come into the comments. Um, I'm all about it being a fun community. So I do encourage people to uh, check out each other's stuff because there's nothing more fun than like you you do a wordle and there's there's a couple of us that do these on the youtube and it's fun to watch the different approaches that people take the different thought processes so uh again shout out to ev plays wordle um thank you for coming by and uh and uh jumping in and having some fun with us um so what do we do here is the g in the front uh i feel like it might be uh let's see Hmm. Let's see. Cottage. Cottage is well. No, we did. We looked at the C. I like the idea, but we did look at the C. Uh. Hmm. We haven't looked at the S. Could there be something with O S T? Yeah. Could there be something with O S T? Uh. Oh no. I was gonna say no. Soothing is eight letters. Uh, and I keep see I keep wanting to see ing because I got the visual looking at it. Postage. Postage is compelling. Let's try postage. Ooh, very close. Postage got us uh, uh, to David's point. Got us all everything except the p. Um, hostage, Furby. Yeah, there you go. Hostage. Boom, there it is. Awesome. Very good. Uh super cool. Hostage it is. So here 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 I'd like to ask you guys. Uh do we want to try an eight letter word or do we want to tr go on and do some quartal? Uh let's do a little quick poll here. And while you guys are typing in your answers to that, uh just to follow up again, like I said, I love that we watch each other's channels and stuff. Um, I know all people on YouTube, all videos you see, everyone kind of like beckons you to subscribe to their channels. Um, it's not just a thing. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel or the other content creators channels and you enjoy watching the world stuff, please, I ask you to please uh, subscribe to all of us really. Um, it really helps us. And the reason it helps us is because the way YouTube works, uh, if you're watching the stuff anyhow and you subscribe, it tells YouTube that... You, it's good to show these videos to other people and it helps grow the community. Um, so I know I know on all my videos and all of everyone's videos it does these, we ask you to, uh, but it really actually helps kind of up and coming communities like this a lot. So uh, thank you for all the folks that have subscribed. If you haven't yet, please, if you don't mind doing that, um, it's super appreciated for myself, for other content creators like EV Plays Wordle and all the other folks. Uh, I know there's a few others that are regulars here. Um, it helps a lot, and we do appreciate it. Um, what do we want to do here next? I've got a vote for Cordal. Cordal, Alexa, we've got. A, looks like we've got Cordal. Cordal seems to be the consensus, and I am consider myself a wordler of the people. So uh, for all, uh, let's move along here and let's play some Cordal. Uh, I haven't had. Um, I we haven't live streamed Cordal since well last Wednesday. So uh, let's see here. Who has? <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let me see. Thanks for playing Squirtle on stream. By the way. no problem, Furby. <clears throat> that was actually a lot of fun. It was a little bit of a different game, and um. So I'll tell you one thing. It was a little tricky to do on a live stream. Uh, it might have been a little tricky to follow along with chat because there's like a thirty second lag. Um, but I will say. If people enjoy Squirtle, which is the, the game where you kind of have a grid with columns and rows, um, I'm open to maybe making a standalone video for YouTube, playing that some more, or working in. Working in. Um, we've been thinking about for the channel, just to take a moment here, um, of trying some different things and adding some new things. Uh, we've been thinking about, we do the Daily Wordle, we do the Daily Quartal. We do some hardware challenge episodes a few weeks, and I know we've been a little behind on that because it's vacation. 
but there's new episodes coming next week, I promise. <laughs> um, but we've been thinking about possibly adding a third series. Uh, maybe the hurdle thing, and it's going to depend on whether or not we can kind of record them in batches or not. Um, but I am open to some suggestions of some additional type games that you'd like to see me play on a regular basis, like a daily basis. Um, cause I'm looking to kind of grow things a little and create some more content. So, uh, I'm totally open to suggestions. Oh, Furby, that squirrel is your game. That's awesome. Um, and that's totally, totally cool that you're here hanging out with us. Um, like I said, I am jazzed by, it. I enjoy that. Uh, and I am open to, um, doing some standalone content for that and working it through um i look forward to it actually so thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight uh that's super cool uh we've had a few people come by they were authors of the games we had the individual who i believe uh, was a developer for set a portal i think it was set a portal um who came by and hung out and that was super cool and now we've got another uh a guest developer furby so again thank you so much it's super cool um okay so I was going to ask for some quartal openers, but I see you've already started to, uh, you guys know the drill, the regs, <laughs> uh, drink foods is an opener. I love it. Uh, lofty dumps bring whack. I like that too. Um, regular squirtle. Okay. So there are some folks that are interested in some regular squirtle. So that is duly noted. And we're going to do some research on that and see how, how we can make that happen. Uh, never <laughs> gives yours up or I love that. <laughs> so that would be that would be the uh rickroll version right never gonna gives yours upper uh coder saint okay so we have so we have a couple we have a couple suggestions here uh drink foods lofty dumps bring whack a forward opener and i see coder saint um how about we 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 look at those uh i don't know i don't know that a five word opener is gonna work we wouldn't necessarily have enough guesses uh so it's a drink foods lofty dump spring whack i'm just trying to remember these and coder saint okay so let's start with uh drink foods let's do one of those drink and foods okay what do we get here uh looking at the upper left puzzle it seems to be the one that we get the most uh out of and that feels to me like Rhino, uh, because the O, uh, yeah, I feel almost 100% certain that's Rhino. It is. And that brings us to the upper right with H-O-N. Um, we have not evaluated the P or the E. And I feel like uh, phone just feels like it's screaming to me. No, okay, well... Uh, so it would be that's phony, almost entirely certain on that. So before we clear that, let's look at. Well, I guess maybe we should just take phony, so at least it gets the Y evaluated for the other puzzles. Okay. Uh, so we have four guesses, and we have two puzzles. The lower left is got very little work. We have an E and an S somewhere in that position. At least on the lower right, we have F R is the two starting letters to work with. Um, I'm sorry, with an E. So there's also an E as well. I apologize. So it's FR, uh, either FRE in the third or FR something E there. Uh, so it feels like maybe the FR word is the one to look at here. Tyrese coming in with the, with the fantastic commentary tonight. Well played, my friend. Never gonna get, yes, we have got... The infamous uh, never going to give you up lyrics. Ah, indeed. I think this is the first time that this channel's been rickrolled, and I do appreciate that. Uh, black for evaluation? Uh, that would give me four unique letters. That is an interesting idea. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with my... You know what? My rule, we do not, we do not uh, deny uh, a Tiger Woods suggestion. Okay, so that got me L-A-S-E for the lower left. So we have four of the letters. So that's actually uh, a fantastic spot to be in. Um, so we have three guesses. We have one guess to play with left, and then we're going to have to get these two sorted out. Um, hmm. Let's see here. 
I didn't play Hurdle. So, um, Hurdle, H-E-A-R-D-L-E, the, the version where you have songs that you have to guess, um, I would love nothing more than to make a YouTube video or stream it, but the problem with Hurdle is copyright music. I'm not allowed to use that on the stream. Uh, believe me, there's. I would love a world where, um, you know, the people that own various songs... Uh, you know, wouldn't think that they need to be compensated if I use it in the context of playing a word game. Um, you know, uh, don't get me started on my thoughts on on uh, corporate. <laughs> we'll be here all night long, but sadly, uh, sadly, the way the word well, the world works, we won't be able to uh, to do that um, as much as I'd like to. We did on April Fools, Furby. If you go back and you find the. April 1st uh, Wordle video on my channel. There is a fun little gag there, but it hasn't it hasn't to do with Hurdle. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't it? I did something different though. You want to go look that up if you haven't seen it. Uh, steel for lower left. We have not looked at the T, so that's actually super compelling, and it will get me a lot of intel. Uh, you know what? I think I think I'm on here to steal. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So we had two guesses left. We now have FRE locked in. So we have two, and we could potentially have a double E, F, R, E, E. Uh, it could be freer, right? Well, that would be the, the, the troll answer would be if it's freer. Um, hmm. You know, thinking out loud, I wonder if that's it, if it's freer. Part of me almost thinks that. <laughs> um. Hmm. Boy, I gotta tell you, something in my brain is telling me that it's one of those things. We'd only have one guess left if I'm wrong. But I'm looking at the constants we haven't looked at, and, you know, yeah. Yeah, I think we're coalescing around Freer. There it is. We got it. We did get it. Okay. Cool. Uh, we have Coder Saint and they, what was the other opener? Let me just scroll back up in my chat here, see if I can find it. Uh, Lofty Dumps Bring Whack. A four-word opener. So what I like to do with the four-word openers, though, is I'll go through the words, but if we get like a no-brainer solve, I'll I'll deviate from it for that. But I'll I'll make the four guesses that aren't solve attempts. Uh, that so Lofty. Uh, it was Lofty Dumps, uh, let's see, uh, let me see. Lofty Dumps Bring Whack, okay. Lofty Dumps, oh boy, bring, uh, hmm. okay, well, you know what, all right, so hold on, we obviously have the upper left as group, so we have that. Uh, but I don't really have much here. I have the T-Y. But I will do whack. I'll do whack. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay, we have four guesses left. We have three puzzles. And each of these have four of the letters. Um... The upper left is interesting. I almost feel like it's got to be Kitty. I feel like it's got to be Kitty in the upper left. Lower left alarm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to again, we're going to go with the we do not doubt Tiger rule tonight. And he and there you go, and that's the reason why. It's the reason why uh clasp no, we evaluated the P when we did dumps. So it's not going to be clasp. I'm seeing I'm seeing some uh I'm, I'm not the only one that's thinking kitty. Uh I feel like we can safely look at kitty here. It is kitty, okay. So we have two shots here at the lower right. Uh two shots at the lower right. Yep, yep, it was definitely kitty. Um uh, I'm going to make a suggestion that for this one we try scale. And there was scale. Okay. Scale on the lower right. Uh, so there we go. We've knocked down another one. 
Uh, okay, there was another chordal suggestion I had. Let me go. Uh, let's see, coder saint. Let me do coder and saint. Well, I tell you, I've worked in the uh, software development industry, and coder saint uh, has a lot of meaning to me. <laughs> um, so interesting, upper right hand puzzle has S something, I, E something, all in position. Uh, so let's see, what makes sense there? Maybe, no, I was going to say spied, but we looked at the D. Spies, plural, potentially. Uh, but I'm, I'm hesitant to waste, a, or to, well, waste is the wrong word, to make a guess on that. Uh, oh, let me, hold on, my chat's going to scroll. Uh, P, all right, so there's a lot of interest in that peel on tail. You know what? Maybe we'll give this a go. I'll try and I'll look this up uh, on my browser um, after this. Hang in there. We might we might just get to that. Um, spiel. Spiel is interesting. Yeah, spiel. Okay, let's try spiel. Spiel is correct. Again. You do not doubt Tiger Woods on this stream, folks. You do not doubt Tiger. Uh, let's see. I feel like we might want to do an evaluation word here. We have uh, a good number of things we can look at here. Um, hmm. Uh, we don't need Intel on D because we got locked in. So Fudgy might not be the optimal one to do here. Uh, we could do... Uh, be you uh what would be an interesting one to try an interesting evaluation word um i want to work the u into it to be sure hmm we do g u m no we looked at the p so jumpy isn't going to really help me any uh we could look at buggy uh that's a double g though hmm i'm not sure how much i get from that uh but i would get b u g and y looked at so the question is, buggy or fudgy, um, they're both going to get four letters, so do I want the B or the F more? That's what that comes down to, uh, because we looked at the D. You know, maybe buggy. I, I gotta, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to claim spider senses. Ah, oh, there we go. My spider senses gave me something here. Buggy in the top left gets us... Uh, B something D something Y and an I is either in the first or the fourth position. I feel like it's going to be uh in the let's see. Hmm. Let me do a visualization here. B I D something Y. Uh what would make sense there? Biddy? Is that going to be a possibility? Oops. It is. There it is. Biddy. Okay. Biddy it is. Um, okay. So we have... Moving over, by the way. In the... Uh, well, both of the remaining puzzles, we've got a lot of information here. Bottom right, I believe, is juice. That is possibly it. This is, by the way, tonight is the Tiger Woods show. We're just we're just living in Tiger's world tonight. <laughs> it's Tiger's world. We're just living in it. Uh, David with twang, uh, which actually looks really good. There it is, twang. Wow, good stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so we well, we got a five, three, seven, six. That's actually really good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, okay. Does anyone have another quarrel opener they can give me? I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind doing another another one or two quarrels here. Who's got a Who's got a quarrel opener? Or maybe like a challenging quarrel open. Like a hard a hard starting word quartal challenge for me. What do you guys think?
pizza pasta. I love it. So I wonder if you guys get the um get the reference to pizza pasta. Uh, and I suspect Tiger uh, will get this reference too. One of my favorite uh, video games back in the day was Punch Out. And of course, I think a lot of people that that were uh, we got two. We have two. We have pizza pasta and noise brute. So we got a couple there. So pizza pasta and noise brute. We'll definitely do those. Um, uh, everyone that had Nintendo growing up and it was the right age had Mike Tyson's Punch Out. We know that there was an arcade game Punch Out uh, that was similar to Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and one of the boxers that you would box was named Pizza Pasta. And I'm wondering if that was. Uh, if that was uh, a reference to pizza pasta or just uh, pizza pasta, which is also just as well. Uh, but I like pizza pasta. And that will be challenging, to be sure. So let's see what we've got here. All right, pizza pasta uh, gets us a few things here and there. Punch out was my thing that I think. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, here's the thing. Um, thank Tiger, here's another aside. I know we're kind of doing like. We're doing puzzles and we're kind of like freeform talking a little bit. Um, I have a passion. I, what I really like to do, in addition to the um, puzzle games that we do, the Wordle and the Quartle and the stuff, I really would like to do some content going through some of the older retro games that I grew up with. And I know there's a lot of content creators on YouTube that do that, right? And there's a million channels you can go to find out about people's thoughts about Mario and Zelda and Pokemon and Sonic the Hedgehog. What I kind of want to do, and you guys let me know if you, if this sounds interesting to any of you. I want to go a little deeper into the things beyond those five games. Like Punch-Out, a great example. Like the games I grew up with, like going to Chuck E. Cheese uh, when I was a kid and playing games like Punch-Out and, you know, Robotron and the different, like, arcade games and stuff. And the games from that time period um, that I don't think get enough love. Um, and I would love to do some content with that. And if you guys like are into any of that stuff, let me know because I want to make sure that you know <laughs> I'm not going to be the only one. I'm not. I don't want to be making it just for myself. Uh, Kaleidoscope from the Pac-Man era. And I see there you go. Absolutely. Um, I would love to do some stuff like that. So it sounds like maybe you guys would be digging it. So um, I think I might actually in Pong. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what. I'll be honest. I'm of the age. Um, we had a black and white TV. Uh, that's because you clue how old I am. Ben was like a little, little kid. And we had the little Pong thing with the little dials and you can play Pong on it. So uh, there you go. Do I have access to Arkanoid? As a matter of fact, yes, I do. And we could absolutely uh, come up at some point with um, uh, creating, doing YouTube video or stream where we do some games like Arkanoid. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Distant had a Commodore 64. I did too. That was the um, the first computer I had. Uh, when I was, let's see, third or fourth grade, so I was like eight years old, um, uh, my parents got me Commodore 64 for Christmas with the cassette recorder, the, the, the data set recorder. You'd load games on a cassette, and I had um, the, the basic program um, uh, lemonade stand. Uh, so that's, there you go, that kind of gives you an idea of like, you know, dating myself a little bit. Uh, Furby grew up on C64 as well. Brother got an Amiga 500 a bit late. Yeah, see, there you go. You guys are my peeps in my time period. Um, I had a Commodore Amiga. I ran a bulletin board system off of it. Um, so I'll tell you what. This sounds like we're all kind of connected here, right? So uh, we, I, this kind of motivates me. Um, I would love to do some stuff, and I will. this will motivate me. To, I want to make some content digging into some of that stuff that, like, the, the, the retro YouTubers just go on the same five games and... And half the retro YouTubers weren't alive when these games came out. Like, it blows my mind when I see someone, it's like, they couldn't be more than 25 years old talking like they're an authority on, like, Atari. And I'm like, you weren't alive when that came out. So it's like, you know, it's time for folks of, of, uh, of our generation that grew up on this stuff to have some, some fun with it. So this is cool. Thank you for the feedback. Um, I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that had an Amiga. A few guys had it as well. Um... Let me get back to the puzzle. I'm, I'm apologies for that. We took a little side detour. Uh, thank you for indulging me. Um, let's do a let's do an evaluation word. I like David's idea of rouge. Let's try rouge. Uh, rouge gets us a little bit more information. 
I feel like uh, I like the lower right hand corner with the P and the O. Um, and now we have an A and an R hanging out there as well. Uh, yeah, 46DX. That would be probably like around the Windows 3.1 era. Uh, Furby mentioning the the disk drive for the Commodore 64. Yep, yep. Um, that thing was heavy as a tank, right? And it was noisy, but you could load the games instead of waiting five minutes to load. It was like a minute to load. Um, so at the time, that was like Space Age. Um, polar lower right. Uh, yes, Polar makes a lot of sense here, doesn't it? Let's try Polar. I hope you guys don't mind that we're kind of like maybe kind of mixing up a little bit, doing the portal and the retro talk at the same time. Uh, sounds like you guys are digging it, so I appreciate uh, we're kind of multitasking here. Uh, here we have in the lower left, we have ASA, probably L, and I feel like that's almost got to be nasal, right? Nasal? No, oh, not nasal. I'm very surprised that I whiffed that one. Okay. Could be basil? I feel like it's got to be basil if it's not nasal, right? Uh, I'm also seeing burst, calling out for burst. Uh, let's see. No, the U has to be in the third spot. Crust, I'm sorry, crust. Uh, crust makes a ton of sense. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. And we all got, we have to be a little careful here. We have three guesses left. So we have to run the table. Uh, <laughs> we got to be careful here with our guesses. Uh, nasal, basil. Uh, hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, hmm. Oh, by the way, yeah, Furby, ghouls and ghosts for Commodore 64 are really good. Yes. Um, and the thing with ghouls and ghosts, uh, the NES version was just so punishingly hard. Uh, I can't be the only one that smashed a controller playing Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, I think we're coalescing around Basil. Now, obviously, we have to get this right. If we miss it, we're going to lose this one. Okay, we got it. We saved our we saved our game here. Um, so we have that. I do think... Uh, hey, Helena, how you doing? Welcome to, uh, welcome to our word game and retro game chat. Uh, trust... I think we're all kind of like coalescing around trust on this. And I think we are going to make the trust move. There it is. Okay. So we have one shot here. Uh, we know the R is in the second spot. We know we have a P and an A hanging out as well. Oh, I'm sorry. There's an E at the end. So it's something R-E. Um, hmm. It's not great because we looked at the G, right? Uh, so I feel like it could be, is it something R, uh, hmm, drape. drape, yeah, it, yeah, it's gotta be drape, because we haven't looked at the D, thank you, Hufalina, for coming by, I'm glad you're enjoying your time here, cool, cool, drape, I feel like we're gonna get it with drape, yep, there we go, we got the drape, awesome, awesome, um, let's see here, uh do we have another i got i feel like we got one more quartal in us and then maybe play a couple octortals um so let's can we get one more portal uh opener a good one some, something fun the first the first the first good portal opener i see in chat we're gonna go with uh coalescing for 10 word wordle <laughs> just did i love the way you think i love the way you think you know what, Distant? I, I, I like that so much that here's what we're gonna do, just for fun. Let's have some fun. Uh you know what? Let's you know what? Let's let let's be willing to have fun. Let's just kind of mess around here. But can we do 10, 8, 9, 10? Coalescing. Hold on. I like having fun. Let's just kind of goof around here. Coal coalescing. Uh, it gets us N in the ninth position, and A and an E and I hanging out around there. There's no O. <laughs> um. Oh, Furby, I like that. I understand the design decision you made with Squirtle. That does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that's a good... That's actually a very good design decision. Um, I do agree with that completely. Um... 
Uh, the hurdle puzzles are fun as well. Yes, thank, thank you, Lena. I, I enjoy them too. And like I said, we're going to do some investigation. I don't know at this point if it can be uh, done in a way that we can tape them in batches uh, so I don't have to like wait till 12 or 1 a.m. every morning and then produce a new episode. So we're going to investigate that. And if there's a way that we can batch these hurdles, the taping on them, then we will uh, perhaps add that to our uh, regular uh, schedule. So uh, we are looking at that. Throughout for Eval, uh, Eval, uh, is that a 10 letter? Hold on. Through, out. Okay, so that gets us the T locked into the end. Uh, so we know that it's going to end with NT. So now, like, we have an eight letter word with an A and an I. <laughs> um, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, you have created a monster distant. This is, this is on you. This is on you. The mess that we've gotten ourselves into. Um, the bonus gets, yeah, I do like that design decision, indeed. Um, hmm. Two T's? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some other T's in this as well, to be sure. Uh, so now we got to think to ourselves, okay, what what ten letter words do we know that end with N T? Um, yeah, I, I'm 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 on team multiple T's to be sure. Um, hmm. Let's see here. What can we do? Uh, hey, let's see here. ENT could be the end, yeah. Uh, let's see. Impatient, no. I think close but no cigar on impatient. I think that's nine, right? That's going to be nine. Yeah, that's nine. Attenuated. Attenuated. Uh, I mean, it's good for evaluation. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on the evaluation aspect of it. Oh, look at this. ATT. Um, uh, and then five mystery letters. <laughs> Um, and then NT. Okay, so now now we're in an interesting position here. Uh, so let's just here's a visualization, right? <laughs> so it's not attendant. I mean, obviously you want to say attendant, right? But we've evaluated uh, the E and the N in the fourth and the fifth. Um. Could it be attainment? Could it be attainment? David, I think David chime in as well with attainment. Distant. Yeah, I think we've got I think we've got we've coalesced around attainment here. There we go. Attainment. There it is. Alright, so there you go. <laughs> there was an impromptu for for giggles. Um <laughs> Five, uh, uh, ten letters, sorry, ten letter wordle. Uh, <laughs> ah, my goodness gracious. That was good stuff. That was fun. Um, okay, so, again, I want you guys to help drive the bus here. Um, I was kind of wanting to do one more quartal. Are you guys okay with one more quartal? And if so, uh, does someone want to shout out an opener? I'll take the first one. Uh, I'll take the first one to come up, uh, the first opener, and then maybe we'll play a little uh, cock portal. <clears throat> what was that? Was quick recommended before? Uh, was quick? <laughs> it's, it's you glad on. Is that an actual word, Tiger? <laughs> oh, quick. Quick. I'm sorry, quick. I, you know, I think David did have quick before, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I apologize, David. I did miss that. So we will open with quick. And I see I see a couple. I see brute noise. I see fancy clasp. I see brute flame. Okay, so a bunch of them. So I'll tell you what. To, to kind of like meet everyone in the middle, I will pick from the words brute noise, 
fancy clasp and flame only for the next couple guesses, right? Let's try and find of those what makes the most sense. Um, just to kind of keep it interesting. Uh, so of those, fancy uh, is going to be the, let's see. Actually, flame will have the most unique letters here that are common. So flame in the upper right gets me C-L-A-E out of position. And I feel like maybe that's the word to focus on here. I feel like that's going to be the one to focus on. See if we can't figure that one out. Um, hmm. Let's see. Flame evals five. Yeah, flame was definitely, I think, the way to go next. Um, unfortunately, it's, you know, knowing that there's a, you know, the, the, Q, the Q is not going to be a factor here, even though there's U's in two of the puzzles. Uh, fecal. Well, we've evaluated the F. So, it, uh, but, but to your point, David, decal. No, okay, so decal didn't do it, but it got us some additional help here. And it definitely put the A in position on that ECAL. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, where would the L be? Uh, C L A. Uh, hmm. Yeah, decal. Uh, it can't be laced because we looked at C in the middle position. Uh, so that's the thing. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, I feel like it's like probably like right on the right on the tip of my tongue here. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the consonants we haven't looked at to see how about oh no it's not cable because it, it has to be in the fourth spot. Um, we have a bunch of unevaluated common letters too uh, that might be look worth looking at. Cleat, C L no see we looked at the L in the second position. Uh, that that was a great guess, but we looked at the L in the second position. Um. Hmm. So while we think about that, I feel like I almost want to do one more evaluation word. We have so many, we have so many common letters. And so here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do an evaluation word, thorn. It's going to get us five unique letters. Okay, so thorn is fantastic because it gets us the T. So while we know it's not, while we know it's not cleat, we know that it is those five letters in a different order. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, what am I? T-E-C-A-L, but in a different order. Let's unscramble it. E-C-L-A-T, is that a valid word? It is a valid word. Um, all right, I'll play along. Wow. David. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You could have given me all night long, and I wouldn't have come up with these LAT. So, well played, my friend. David got that one uh, big time. Uh, and I feel like, yeah, I, everyone is now screaming debut, which has absolutely got to be it. There it is. We got debut. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, woof, I'm still I'm still blown away. That was really good, David, on that, uh, that E-clap. Uh, over on the lower right, we have TH... E A U. So we have all the letters here. Um in yeah, H A U T E. Yeah, I'm thinking of that too. I know. <laughs> We're all like throwing our hands up in the air. What does that word even mean? Yep, H A U T E. Uh well done, Furby. That was a good one. So we have two guesses left here in the lower left, and that's gonna be a little tricky. We have a D in the in the beginning. We have an O and an N hanging out uh, elsewhere, but not a lot to go on here um we haven't looked at the s we haven't looked at the y uh hmm i feel like uh it's gotta be do something uh i feel like that's probably gonna be a thing um is a french derived word okay downy uh could be that looks like it's got some potential. 
Let's try Downey. There it is, Downey. 6587, that's actually pretty good. Uh, reach a maximum streak of 10 in practice. Oh, wow, we're 10 in a row uh, on these freestyle portals. So go us. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> we're not the type to wear out coach. I didn't even say that. I think we're a pretty classy group of folks there, if you don't mind me uh, saying so myself. I think we're pretty classy. Um, okay. I feel like we've gotten a pretty good uh a pretty good quartal session in. Uh who's up for some octortal? You guys want to do some octortal? We have <laughs> I'm gonna start a new one here. I was just checking the screen there. Um Who's who's got some octortal in them? And if so, who would like to give me a uh a uh an opener for an octortal? Well, I take a sip of the uh the iced tea here, as it were. Cape <laughs> doily shunt. <laughs> All right, Furby. Uh I love that so much. We gotta go with it. Crepe, doily, shunt. What does that get us? And let's take a quick look at where we're at here. Um, so I see in the seventh puzzle right away, I think you pretty much have to go with draft, right? So draft, we have one here. Uh, let's see. Those three words give the most greens out of the triplets. These 15 most common letters. Ah, oh, okay. That's a good that's a good opener. Uh we have on the uh the oh on the eighth puzzle, I'm staring right at sauce. There it is. Uh let's see, patrolling the board here. Where do we go next? Uh, let's see. Do I want to? We have six left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have two kind of evaluation guesses that we have banked. Um, hmm. Uh, what can we try here? Uh, hmm. Let me see. Uh, the C in the fourth spot on the first puzzle. Uh, you know what's interesting on that first puzzle? Knock. Knock feels interesting to me. That it only brings the K out to play. And, and here's where I get, here's where I get gun shine. We only have two guesses to play with. Um, hmm, hmm. Uh, David is, is, I think, in agreement with me on knock on that first puzzle. Do we have any other votes for knock? Because I feel like I want to give that a go. If I can get one, if I can get a second on knock, I think we'll go with it. What do you guys think? Because I kind of like that as a guess. What do we think? Going once, going twice. <laughs> I think you know what I think I think we're gonna try knock. I got a very good feeling here. There it is. Okay, and we got uh, we also got S H O blank K. It's not shock, and I think the only other thing it could be would be shook with a double O. So I think we've got that one covered. There it is. Okay. All right. So now we're down to four puzzles remaining. Uh, let's see here. Boy, but this is these, these are a bit tricky. There's not a heck of a lot to work with here on these. And then again, we have two we have two guesses to work with if we wanted to try to see if we could evaluate. And we, we would want to come up with something to get maximum value on that, right? Um, so let me see. Of the letters I've got left, is there any way I can come up with something that gets at least three of them? Excuse me. Um, I'm looking 
racking my brain. Um, dude, is there any way I can get maybe a word that gets three of these consonants looked at? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, hmm. Uh, boy, at least the B and the M, right? Uh, tweet in the second one? Uh, well, that would look at the W, right? Of, of the constants we haven't looked at, W is one of my favorites to, to consider. Uh, gumbo, which one would that be for? Uh, which which puzzle would be looking? Oh, gumbo. Oh, gumbo would get me GMB evaluated. I see what you're saying. I see. You know what? Um, so EV plays Wordle. I like the idea of gumbo. It, we only have two to play with, but this gets us three of the letters left and pretty much all the ones that I really want to look at. Uh, so I feel like I'm going to do that and pray that that gets us what I think it'll get us. All right, so Gumbo got us some help. That was good. Gumbo got us help. Um, so looking immediately at uh, the... <laughs> yeah, so it's also kind of like mix things up in terms of our ideas on things, like tarot for five. Um, there's an E in that, so tarot isn't going to work um retro retro is interesting uh no actually no unfortunately retro won't work because we evaluated o with gumbo in the fifth spot yeah so unfortunately not retro um i'm just trying to think what is the most uh you know it's interesting on the second puzzle it could be b get but we don't have the luxury of any room to play with now if if um mm, i only have one kind of play guess here would be get and yeah I'm, I'm getting people coalescing around beget now the other side of that coin is we're gonna all all four of these puzzles we need intel on the e right all four of them so this is going to let us look at e in the second and the fourth spot for beget and uh, so that has a lot of value. Yeah, multiple people are saying beget. I think we're talking ourselves into giving it a go. There, we got it. We got it. Nailed it. Okay, excellent. I feel like I just had to talk, had to talk myself into that one. <laughs> um, so over here on the third puzzle, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a really wacky theory on this one. And um. Oh, where's I don't see where nerdy works. Not nerdy, yeah. Um, on the third puzzle, this is a really crazy one. Now I used to uh, talk about old computers, right? I used to repair old computers. I still do. I like to take find old computers at like yard sales and stuff and fix them up. And so you know you have to replace things like capacitors and diodes and resistors and transistors. So there's a type of diode which is a little component used in the old electronics, it's called a Zener diode, Z-E-N-E-W, uh, Z-E-N-E-R, I'm sorry. Uh, and that is, I'm almost wondering about that. And is now David is saying renew, which is actually a better, a way better guess than my Zener diode. <laughs> Both words, but renew is probably an awful lot more, uh, uh, clearer than Zener. I was about to try and sell you guys on Z-E-N-E-R. But you know what? Renew is a way, way more sensical option. No. Oh. No. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's newer. But I think we're still okay, right? We have three puzzles left. And we have three guesses. So, okay. We can do, we can fit newer. So, I guess it was a 50-50. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Diode equals nerdy. David, absolutely on point with commentary tonight. I uh, love it. We love to see it. Um, okay, so which one of these do we want to knock out first? Oh, mower. Mower, obviously. So that's a gimme. And we have, let's see, one left, right? 
uh, and one guess left. So we have, we know the O is in the first position by process of elimination. Uh, so that looks like otter to me. It's got to be otter because the O has to be in the first. And we know we have at least one T here. Yeah, I think I think we're all on board with otter, right? I feel like we're all on board with otter. Yeah, otter. Go otter. There we go. There it is. It's otter. Cool. Okay. You guys have one more octortal in you? If you do, shout out an opening, and we'll do one more octortal. What do you guys think? I think I could do one more octortal tonight. Oh, I'm hearing laughing in, in the in the, in the peanut gallery. <laughs> Our brains are melting, I and mean, we are close to the end. We're going to be wrapping up in a few, uh, but I feel like one finale, one more go. Helena's excited. Helena's in. Kaleidoscope's melting, but I know you're with us. Um, so who's got an opener for me for one more octortal tonight? Let's take one. I have a, and I, I think we only have gas for one more. So if there's a whole bunch of them, we'll take the first one and we'll make a note of the other ones and we'll we'll keep an eye out to get that next time. So coalescing melt. What do we got here? Brute. Brute trash. Okay, so I'll tell you what. We could try brute trash. How about that? <laughs> I see brute and I see trash. So we're going to go with that. Brute. Well, actually, here's the problem, though. Trash is probably not going to be very optimal to do. So I apologize to my own moderator, Cassandra Hammerstone. And I'm hoping I don't get ejected from the channel for this. <laughs> But I, for to be optimal, I think we have to pick something as the second one. I'll tell you what. Let me let me uh, let me take a uh, let me in, in, engage my own uh, I'm gonna engage in my own privilege here and do shady. How's that? I'm gonna jump in and do shady. Uh, earlier, I was watching the stream on my VR. <laughs> how 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 do I come across in VR? I'd love to know. Oh my goodness! What what is the experience watching this in VR? I would love to know. Uh, any spider sense? I know my spider senses. I'm on vacation, so my spider senses are on vacation. So I'm, I'm 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 counting on you guys to help out. My spider senses will be back in full effect next week. Oh, by the way, while you guys are considering this puzzle, and feel free to give me. I've seen cough. Cough is interesting, right? C O. We get. Uh, well, actually, here's the thing. We'd only get a couple of additional uh, evaluations on that. I'm looking for a good uh, third word. Uh, well, actually, Flint here. You know what? I'm going to go with Flint. So I'll get us some additional evaluation done here. Um, so one quick thing. It was cool watching here. Okay. I've got it. Boy, I almost feel like I'm going to get with the times and get myself a VR headset and then go back and watch the show uh, on VR. You, you've gotten me. You've gotten me incredibly curious. I got to have to be honest with you. Um, while you guys are contemplating this and feel free to shout me out some ideas on these. Um, next week, I'll be back home for next week. Uh, we'll do our regular stream next Wednesday at seven. I promise you busty on four. Busty on line four. Um, no, we've evaluated the B on that fourth one. It's not in that puzzle. Um, it could be musty. Uh, it could it could be musty, possibly. That is an option. Um, next Wednesday stream is going to be super cool and super special. Why do you ask? Next Wednesday, the twenty seventh, is going to be the day of the 100th episode that we've done on this channel for Wordle, for Daily Wordle. And the episode next Wednesday on the 27th is going to be a special party celebration episode of the Daily Wordle. And I'm not going to spoil things. We, we do not do spoilers on this channel, but I can tell you it will be a party atmosphere and it will be a little over the top. So 
you will not want to miss that one. Um, and the live stream will also be celebratory in nature. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. So I promise you, you will have some fun if you come by next Wednesday. Uh, Musty, I think we like Musty. Let's give this a go. There it is, Musty. And that, unfortunately, didn't give us an M anywhere else. But it did get us one of the solves. So that's good. Um, we do not have the O evaluated. We don't have the C evaluated. Um, so I wonder if we would want to try and do that or just let's peruse the board um <clears throat> hmm. stake far right yeah that's definitely got a lot of potential distant i like the way you're thinking my friend i think stake could be it oh no but 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 that got us some additional intel here and we know that um it has to be sweat Ah, oh, we have our first porn bot of the night. Look at that. Ah, oh, we have our our first bots for adult-oriented infra... We haven't had the bots in, like, two weeks. Uh, and Cassandra Hammerstone on the case, uh, removing removing the solicitations for, for naughty uh, content that is way out of brand and off-scope for this channel. So there you go. And it's been a few weeks before the bots, uh, since the bots visited us. So goodbye. Have some fun. Um, sweat. We so we got that. Um, the W. We we did get a W in the first puzzle. So there's that. Um, uh, okay. So what would make sense? So uh, the R is obviously not going to be in the first spot there. Uh, the N is obviously not going to be in the first spot there. Uh, we haven't. You know what? We haven't looked at O. So I feel like owner. Owner, I feel like owner is almost got to be the first one, right? There it is. Okay. Hey, Nuker, how you doing, man? We're just sort of wrapping up, but thanks for coming by and hanging out. Of course, all these live streams will be video on demand. Uh, so if you come in towards the end, you can watch the whole thing on replay. Um, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it, Nuker. Um, oh, by the way, if anyone here is a big fan of Elden Ring, the game Elden Ring, um, and you are familiar with Twitch, Nuker, Nuker43 here in chat, uh, plays Elden Ring on Twitch, and is actually quite entertaining. I do enjoy watching him play Elden Ring. So uh, if you're into those things, if you're familiar with Twitch and you like Elden Ring, uh, look up Nuker43. He has, he has some pretty fun playthroughs on, um, on Elden Ring, so please check that out. You, you promise you will enjoy yourself. Um, B-L-E-E... -E, on puzzle five, it's not bleed because we looked at D. So I feel like it's got to be bleep. Yeah, there it is. Everyone's kind of screaming bleep at me. <laughs> I feel like I said a dirty word. There it is. Bleep indeed. Um, okay. Uh, oh, it looks like we uh, we have point has been pretty much given up. Uh, uh, Nuker, it's going to be on around 930 Eastern Standard Time. So there you go. If you guys uh, do the Twitch thing. Feel free, and you like Elden Ring, uh, I, I do enjoy watching Nuker play the uh, Elden Ring, so check that out. So Point got us there. We have three puzzles left. Uh, oh, we have all the letters for the sixth puzzle. Felon. Oh, let's spell it correctly. That would be helpful. Felon. And that leaves us with only two left. Um, okay. So what do we have here? Um, hmm. We have in the third spot, we have, uh, so the interesting part about that is we don't have A, E, I, O, or U on puzzle three, only Y. So there could be, there could be more than one Y. And the Y is not at the end. So I almost feel like, is it, NYL? Oh, that's hmm. Interesting. Okay. That one's interesting. The second one has an E at the end. We have a U, an A, and a G. Uh could that be uh um gauze, like what you'd put on a wound, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's gotta be gauze. No, it's not. Ooh. Okay, now we're down to our last two guesses here. 
but we got the A in position. Um, oh, vague. It's got to be vague, right? It has to be vague. Yeah, it has to be vague. Okay, I felt comfortable just going with that because I couldn't imagine it being anything else. Um, Lynch. Oh, we haven't looked at the C. You're absolutely right. Helena. Helena with the with the uh the grand finale. It has to be. Yes, because that makes all the sense in the world. Uh I'm comfortable enough just going with it. There it is. Thank you, Helena 42, with the clutch, with the cl coming in clutch at the end there with Lynch. Outstanding stuff. All right, look about the clock. Um, so we do two hour streams. Uh, we're at 8.52. Um, I am on vacation. <laughs> I'm, I will freely admit I'm a little a little parched. I've been doing a lot through through the week. So I feel like this is a good uh, enough time to kind of wrap things up a little bit. I just have a few things I want to go over before we sign off. Um, first and foremost, thank you so much, everyone, for coming out. I know it's a weird day. We usually do Wednesdays. We did Thursday. But everybody seems to be fine with coming by. Um, thank you so much for the feedback on things that we've talked about tonight. I think I am going to try and figure out if we can do Hurdle more often. I am going to try and um, do some standalone Squirtle, uh, Furby Fubar's uh, very cool game. We'll figure that out. Um, and it was so cool to hear that a bunch of you guys are also into like the same kind of retro stuff that I'm into. Because I really do want to kind of make some content with that. Um, so now this really gives me motivation to do that. So uh, I think going forward, stay tuned in the days and weeks coming. Uh, maybe we'll branch out into doing some of that. Do you guys? Would you guys be up for maybe streaming some old retro games like Ar Arkanoid and Ghouls and Ghosts? I know we're called out. Um, if you guys would be up for that and you enjoy it, uh, maybe we could do that one of these weeks. I would love to do that. Um, so uh, let me know, please. You know, um, you can either just mention it here. Uh, Birdle. What would Birdle be? I mean, bird types of birds, perhaps? <laughs> I would be down with that. Um, that could be a lot of fun. So like I said, um, you've given me a lot to think about here. Um, of course, as always, please feel free in the comments of these, either here or in the video on demand on these. Um, I love your feedback. Um, there's a community building and there's a lot of comments and I apologize. I don't necessarily have the bandwidth to do every single comment, all the videos, but I promise you, I read every comment, um, and I try to get engaged as much as I can. Um, but I enjoy you guys having the, the chats. I love some of you guys do some really cool write-ups. Um, it's super cool and I love it. And I thank you guys for doing that. Um, uh, what else? Um, again, one thing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate if you did. Um, please feel free to tell a friend. If you've got friends and colleagues that love playing these games, feel free to get the word out because as we can grow the community, we can have some more fun. Um, and it, it gives me uh, you know, some, some help with this and uh, justifies me putting more time in. I do want to grow the channel. So um, thank you so much to everyone again. Remember, next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be back. The live stream it is the we'll be celebrating the hundredth uh, episode of the Wordle uh, videos that we do. It's going to be special. It's going to be cool. Um, I won't say anything else other than that. I promise you'll be entertained, uh, and it's going to be a very fun lively stream next week. So until then, uh, oh thank you Kaleidoscope for putting a link to me on your Facebook page. I super appreciate that. That's so awesome. Uh, and Kalina, thank you. Watching the videos at midnight after doing the Wordle, that's very cool. Um, <laughs> I, I love that. Um, and so like I said, you know, it's it's a fun community. We're having a lot of fun. So that's that for tonight. Um, I always see the daily world from 9 o'clock your time. That's right. You're a few hours behind. We're on the East Coast. So, yep, you get to see them about 9 o'clock. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, again, thank you, everyone. It has been a blast. It's always a blast. Can't wait to see you again live next week. And until then, uh, have fun, spread the word, and of course, in, do what you enjoy with life. I, I think this is about like taking some time away from all the craziness in the world and just having fun, having a good time. And I think we've got a fun little crew to do that. So once again, thank you, everyone. We'll be back next week. And uh, have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next time.